Hey, this is MJ from Selling the ATL. Today I want to talk to everybody about a pretty happy time in a real estate transaction, and that is closing. So at closing, I always recommend that the buyer and the seller be there to actually sign the documents. It makes everything easier. It's much smoother. If there's any questions, you can handle it right then. Uh, it's just a much better thing to do. However, sometimes it's not possible. If you're an investor and you're out of state, you don't, you don't come to the closing because you're not going to come for that. Then, then that happens, and then also if you know, maybe if you're a buyer and at the last minute you have to go on a business trip, nothing you can do about it. You got to handle it. So there's a couple ways to do that, and just in case you can't be there, the first is with the power of attorney. Power of attorney. Now this is oversimplified, but basically you're giving somebody the authority to sign for you in this transaction. Now you are still binded by that signature because you're giving them authority, but it allows somebody else to sign the documents for you. I know a lot of lenders don't really care for that, especially when on the, the loan documents, um, but it has happened. I've seen it happen, so um, so I know it can be done, um, and it will depend on your lender, of course. The second way to do it is mail away. Uh, what, what you do for a mail away, again, this is very simplified, but the closing attorney or the title company or whoever does the closing will package everything up, all the loan, loan documents up in a package. They'll FedEx them out to you. You'll sign them, and whether you have to get it notarized or sign it in front of somebody or whatever, um, and then you'll package them back up, and you'll send them back to the closing attorney, and then the money will change hands when 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 everybody has signed the documents. So it's pretty it's a pretty easy way to do it too. There are a few extra costs in that, but um, that that can be done that way. Um, again, I'm pretty sure that this is uh, for everywhere in the country. Um, but you may want to check if you're not in Georgia. You may want to check and see with your title company or with your closing attorney or, or real estate attorney or whatever, just to make sure that that uh, that you can do that. But I'm pretty sure that you can. So um, that's all for this video. Again, this is MJ from Selling the ATL. Remember to follow me uh, on Twitter at Mark underscore Johnson underscore and subscribe to my YouTube channel right here below. Um, that's all. I'm MJ and I'm out.